Hey, all right, man, I've been playing this 2K21. I haven't really been playing, I've just been in the build thing. Does that technically count as playing? Besides the point, demo dropped a couple days ago, man. And uh, at first I was real, real disappointed because I was like, man, this is depressing. All same graphics, all same build material here. And they added like four pie charts and maybe tweaked some badges. But then Davis asked me to go to his crib to record a video uh, where we were playing against each other in the demo. And it was a lot of fun, genuinely had a good time. Maybe it's cause I was winning and I love winning. There's no better feeling than winning. I do it all the time on the AMP channel, link in the description. A uh, good time to remind y'all to subscribe to this channel as well, uploading daily 2K20 content. Sorry, dude, I didn't do it on purpose, swear to God. 2K21 content, subscribe. So then when I got home, I was like, yo, uh, let me try and make some builds, see what I could come up with. And I came up with a few things, fellas. So this is what I'm thinking, which build I think I'm gonna go. All right, first things first, fellas. Let's launch up the My Player Builder. If we go shooting guard, I always rock left-handed, and you know, for the sake of Kobe this year, we gotta rock number 24. There's a few builds I'm going to create. The first one I know I'm gonna have off rip is the most simple one. And it's one that I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna be doing. Fully, I was in the middle of saying something important. Nah, I guess not. Nah, maybe this. People is gonna look over this build because it's not flashy. It doesn't get ankle breakers, and it doesn't get contact dunks. And you know, that's what people do for views on YouTube and stuff. Because it's fun to watch. Uh, and that's the pure sharp build right here, fellas. Click on the circle, the big all green, all green pie chart. And there's, there's really nothing flashy about this pie chart. I always choose the physical profile at the top because it's the fastest one. Let's go on ahead, max out, drop. Holy, all right, like, as soon as it gets to 30, you don't have to max out your post fade unless you really, really want to. Uh, I'm gonna max out everything at playmaking, again, because uh, for whatever reason, this pure sharp build gets a decent amount of playmaking badges. And then as soon as you get to 14, you can cut that off. I always like maxing my driving dunk, always like maxing my driving layup. And for some reason, people don't do it, but I max my close shot. Y'all need to start maxing your close shot. For whatever reason, this pure sharp build gets a decent perimeter defense and lateral quickness. That doesn't make any sense to me, but I'll take it. And a really decent steal rating, a 79. And now you have 39 to play with, and this 39 is kind of, you can put it wherever you'd like to. No point of putting it on standing dunk, because you're not going to be able to do that anyway. I'm never going to post hook with this sharp, hopefully, so I'm not going to need that. So I'm looking at defense, really. I don't like to max out my interior defense, because if you reduce the weight of your player, which you're likely to do on a sharpshooter build, it'll murk the interior defense stat regardless. So I might put a few on interior defense, but I never max it out. I put some on block right there, and then I just give the rest there to defensive rebound. This build don't get a lot. Hey Google, what's 30 plus 14 plus three? The answer is 47. So this build gets a total of 47 badges, which is not flashy at all. I, I usually go with either the built or defined body type. I'm gonna go with built here. And if you make your build six foot five, in fact, okay, let's go up a little bit, go six foot six. You can have a 94 three point shot. You're usually gonna wanna reduce the weight on a sharpshooter build. You're usually gonna wanna reduce the wingspan on a sharpshooter build. But on this one, there's no real benefit to going minimum. So I'm gonna just get the plus one at 81.6, move forward. And it's so simple. There's no, you don't really have to make much compromises cause it's a real narrow build. You're gonna shoot out the gym with this build. You click complete and I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me sharpshooter as the build. It, it does, okay, all right? So you could be like Clay Thompson. Now, I'm gonna have that build regardless, but y'all don't need to sit here and watch this video tell tell you guys that because I'm aging. I'm gonna have a sharpshooter build without a shadow of a doubt. So I was like, what other builds am I gonna create? And I swear to God, I've been sitting here for six, seven hours straight trying to figure out which has the best combination of both attributes and badges. But with the mistake I made last year was I kind of just based it purely off paper. This build had the most badges and the attributes were the most all around. Let's go with this one. That's a mistake, man. In practice, when you actually hop in the game, it's not always gonna play out the way it does on paper. I learned that the hard way. So let's go to the My Player. Oh, by the way, if you close app before, like at that screen I just closed app on, it won't count it. So that's what I've been doing so recently, just in case you ain't know that, just now you know that. Now you know that. Oh, also, so after I dropped my video yesterday, out of nowhere, Mike Wang hit me up and said, I watched your video. Oh, man, Wang, what's going on right now? Okay, he hit me up like once a year 
But in the video, I was explaining that we didn't hear a lot of details about like what the caps are when you get contact dunks, when you get momentum. Like we don't know any of the stuff that we knew last year at this time. Uh, Mike Wang let me know that you get a plus four boost once you hit 99 overall. I believe last year was plus five, so there's a difference there. And uh, you get momentum at 86 as you did last year, and contact dunks is the same as you get last year as well. So there's that bit of information. All right, make a shooting guard. Actually, don't make a shooting. This is what you shouldn't be doing. And on this bill right here, half finishing, half shooting. This pie chart right here I'm looking at. Click on this one, man. I always choose the top physical profile because I like to keep my guys quick. Uh, off rip, the easy part, like you, you always wanna just get the things that you know you're gonna do regardless. And then you can kind of trickle in the re remaining additional points on the other book that you might care about. So you want to reduce it, do as much as you need to do to get to uh, 27 shooting badges. Then you want to, for whatever reason, I feel like every build this year has access to at least 10 playmaking badges. It makes no sense, but I'll take it because there's no playmaking in this archetype whatsoever. But to get 16 playmaking badges at the situation, Sounds kind of crazy. You want to max out your perimeter defense. You want to max out your lateral quickness. And then you want to go up to finishing because this is a half finishing build. It should have plenty of finishing badges. Max out your close shot. Same goes with your driving layup, your driving dunk. See, now it begins to fly up. Your standing dunk. And you even want to put up your post hook to kind of get as many badges as you can here. Actually, I might have to reduce some. Okay, cool, yeah, so I just took some off of perimeter defense lateral quickness. So this build is not the greatest defensively, although it does have decent perimeter defense and lateral quickness. It only has one defensive slash rebounding badge. But look at the rest of this, 84 three-point shot, an 84 driving layup. It doesn't have contact dunks, but you're gonna have success driving to the rim. And look at the amount of, hold on, how many badges got Google? Hey Google, what's 20 plus 27 plus 16 plus one? The answer is 64. It has a total of 64 badges on this player. That's crazy. So I'm not sure at this, because this is what I was like, oh man, last year I was like, oh, I can't, can't wait, fellas, can't wait till I get into this. Let's go build body type. I'm probably gonna go six foot five so I can get that three point shot looking right. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna keep it a little bit. I'm gonna lower the weight a little bit just so he's a little bit faster. I'm gonna reduce the wingspan, of course, without a shadow of a doubt. And I'm gonna choose spot up shooter, boom. And I think it's gonna give me a three level score, right? Scoring machine, boom. And you're gonna play games with this and you're gonna realize that you're just average at now. You're actually not great at any one thing. I'm seeing a whole lot of playmaking shot creators because you can have incredible playmaking stats and incredible shooting stats and that should be rare to have. I'm seeing a lot of people make those builds. And it seems like the penalty this year on creating really tall players is really bad. So a lot of people is opting to make shorter characters. And on paper that might look great in practice, that might not be a good scene for you once you get swatted every time you head into the paint. So I know I'm gonna make the sharpshooter build. I'm not doing a scoring machine or three level score this year. I refuse. Those are not good builds, man. Those are not top tier builds, they're not. But the big problem I had last year was even when I was making great defensive plays, when I was contesting the ball properly or I was in a good position to steal, I was in a passing lane, whatever the case, I just wasn't being warded on defense. This year, I don't want that to be the case. I'm not so worried about shooting, although I would like to have a player that's elite at shooting because I think I could shoot consistently on any player that has over a 73 point shot. So, as I go left handed, we're gonna drop that number to 24. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, you're gonna wanna go down to this pie chart here, which is half defense, half three point shooting. I'm choosing the top physical profile, and now we get to the attributes. As always, you're gonna max out everything in shooting because, uh, at least to me, this is by far the most important category. All right, so this is what this build looks like maxed out. I actually opted to not use close shot here just because it takes a lot of attributes to max out defensive archetypes. And so uh, I wanna try and get as many badges as possible here. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm cool with 19. So I get a good balance for whatever reason, this build also has 13 playmaking badges. So, so wait, this is what I wanna say. So I was really close to making a sharpshooting facilitator, which is really just a tall version of the playmaking shot creator that everyone's using but you only get like 20 playmaking badges with that. With all of these builds that have no playmaking in them, you're still getting 13 to 15 playmaking badges regardless without having to waste one of your splits on the pie as playmaking. So I don't think unless you're a playmaker that you should even include any kind of playmaking in your build unless you're, you're trying to make videos or whatever and you want like a playmaking stretch big or something fun, unless you want something fun. That's not really practical, man. You're not gonna end up using that in any real game. Take that back. I mean, I guess it depends on what your focus is this year. But for me, the sharpshooting facilitator, it kind of just felt like a waste. 
This build though, this build looks valid. Perimeter defense, lateral quickness, 19 defensive badges, 20 shooting badges, a decent three point shot. And ideally, this is gonna be a build that's gonna D up playmakers, right? So he doesn't have to be mammoth tall, he just has to be six foot five, six foot six. Uh, I'll go with the defined body type. No point of going underneath six five, you don't get not a single boost for literally anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep mine at six foot five. I might reduce the weight a little bit. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I lied, I lied, I lied. I'll keep it at 210. And the thing is, is with the sharpshooter, you wanna reduce the wingspan for the most part, but with the lockdown, you wanna increase the wingspan. And when you got both, you kinda just split down the middle, so you wanna find one that kinda fits for what you need it for. I think I'ma just keep it closer to the middle, one to the right at 82.4. And uh, so usually, I mean, now it's between sharp or lock takeover. Um, I'm most of the time gonna be in the corner with this build on offense anyway, so I'm gonna have sharpshooting badges like corner specialist and catch and shoot light up. So that's, I'm gonna opt for lockdown badge right here. And plus, you know, people have a little fear in their heart when you light up the lockdown badge. They get a little scared, man. Now I think they're gonna be a two-way, yeah, two-way mid-range shooter. Like Ray Allen, maybe early in his career. I don't know. Damn, all right, this is where it gets juicy. Let's just throw this anywhere. It really doesn't matter, I only have one of them. Shooting badges, man. Obviously, without a shadow of a doubt, you're gonna wanna max out Hall of Fame Rage Extender. For this build, Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, you're gonna be in the corner a lot. Now, I even reckon to say Hall of Fame Deadeye. I'm not making this build for the demo. I'm kinda making it assuming that I'm gonna be playing with it in the game, right? So that being said, I'm gonna want a Hall of Fame uh, Hot Zone Hunter. How about we do this, huh? Yeah, this is a cool little split here. Yeah, because I don't have any hot zones right now in the demo, obviously, but in the game, you will have some. But so many of these badges have been tweaked. We don't really know with this badge department. We're going to have to do a whole gang of tests and see which ones are effective this year and which ones aren't. Because although everything does look the same, you might believe that everything is the same. I feel like uh, they put a pretty decent emphasis on just uh, rearranging the balance between all the badges in the game. All right, playmaking badges. This should be fun. I love quick first step. I, it's a shame that this badge is in the game, but I'm gonna take Bale out because it's a great badge and for some reason it does not belong in a basketball game. I, I don't care what you say. You should not be passing out of shots half court accurately. This should not be a badge that incentivizes that. I and mean, then I guess the rest of them doesn't really matter too much. Let's have fun with it. Throw on some ankle breakers, some space crater, and some tight handles. Man, okay, wow, holy. A man is definitely gonna Hall of Fame clamps, without a doubt. Hall of Fame pick dodger, yes, yes. Hall of Fame pickpocket, mm-hmm. They said they was gonna nerf Intimidator this year, so I, I might not go, I might do a little bit of Intimidator. They said they was gonna nerf it because it was ridiculously OP last year. All right, this is what I'm gonna go with here. Um, I'm not I'm not a big man, so I'm kind of going for more guard-related things like Interceptor, I'm gonna be in passing lanes. You know what I'm saying? Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, Clamps. And I do it in Brick Wild just for no reason. I'm probably not gonna ever need that. And you know, choose a jump shot really doesn't matter. Most people is probably gonna go with uh, Stephen Curry. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, this is gonna be one of my builds next year, man. And keep in mind, I don't know when next gen comes out. There was all kind of leaks and et cetera, but we don't know. I'm assuming November, December, assuming. So I'm not gonna have time to grind like 40, 50 different builds, right? I'm gonna leave that to Joe Knows. <laughs> Me, oh no, I'm probably gonna have two builds. I'm gonna have my little defensive build when we need it, and I'm gonna have my elite sharpshooting build. So that way, no matter what's going on, I could be on the wing and a helpful member of literally any different team. Cause at least personally for me, I don't really play twos. But if I did play twos, I'd wanna have a build that's effective. This one right here. On threes, both my sharp and this build would be effective. And on Pro-Am, oh yeah, my lock would most definitely be effective. That's the build I'm going with, man. I spent so much time in this lab and I've came to the conclusion that there's actually not as many options as you might think, right? After you do it for enough hours, you're like, oh man, so I'm kind of coming to the same conclusion every single time. You, can, you might be able to slightly tune it from going from shooting guard to small forward to get one or two additional extra badges, but that's really about it. Don't fall for the bamboozle, fellas. Don't, don't get trapped in the, I want to get as many badges as possible. How much badges this got? Hey, Google, what's 19 plus 21 plus 13? The answer is 53. This, this build right here has 53 badges, and I can guarantee you when I hop in the game, it would destroy any three level score, just in terms of productivity on the court. And that build had 64, the scoring machine has 64 badges. Anyway, playing the AI is a brutal use of my time and I refuse to do it. I will play uh, some play now maybe with some people on the demo, but that's about it. You cannot pay me to play AI. And I hope there's real methods this year 
to grind the badges online and my career isn't the fastest way again. Because for people like me that prefer playing with other people, not against artificial intelligence, you know, I would like that alternative. Without trying to feel like I'm being penalized for playing online, like I just grind at a slower pace. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna continue experimenting, but I'm most definitely gonna have some kind of defensive build. There's no scene this year where I'm playing great defense and the ball is going through my hands and all of that. Refuse. But hey, man, it's up to you. You're most likely going to end up making the same play, making shot crit everybody else is making. Um, so let me know how that goes for you. Drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel you haven't already, drop daily 2K21 content. Be sure to subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.